Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my fangirl favorites for February 2024. So, how's everybody been this month of February? Uh, as always, I love hearing what you guys get up to any given month. I don't care what it is. Uh, books, movies, television, video games, music, hobbies, vacations. I might have repeated some things in there. I'm not quite sure. I always love hearing what things you guys do every single month. The things that give your life great joy. I really do not care what it is. No one should ever tell you that what you enjoy is wrong. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys, um, I'm just really super casual today. I threw on some makeup real quick because this is the only video I was filming today. I just put on my my, my hoodie threw some makeup on, barely did my hair. I'm just sleepy and tired. I just want to get this video over and done with. <laughs> uh, but I do. I do have a few random things I'd like to share with you guys. The first thing I want to share is actually a CD. Yes, I collect CDs still, you guys. I'm so old. <laughs> um, I purchased uh, the, the, the Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Broadway cd <laughs> um i had no idea that sometime last year or i guess it was that there was a new broadway adaptation of sweeney todd and that it starred of all people josh groban and anna lee ashford uh, but yeah josh groban especially i was like Oh my god <laughs> josh groban as sweet todd hell yes i'm here for it um so yeah as soon as i discovered this that there was a, a new broadway adaptation of sweet todd i immediately purchased this cd uh and yeah it, it's just a really cool cover design i really like it josh groban is just looking particularly fine maybe it's just me um i i love josh groban's voice he he has like the voice the voice of of an angel it seems his voice is just just so wonderful and pleasant to listen to and yeah when i first found out that he was playing the character of sweeney todd at first i was kind of like josh groban <laughs> as much as I love you, uh, is your voice going to work for the character of Sweeney Todd? And it does, you guys. I was blown away. Um, I have not listened to the entire CD just yet. I'm about halfway through the CD. I'm kind of just kind of casually going through it and enjoying it and taking my time with it. Um, because I am, I'm already very familiar with the music of it in general, you know, thanks to like the Tim Burton adaptation that had Johnny Depp and Helena Bottom Carter. So I'm already very familiar with the story and the type of songs in it. So yeah, I'm just kind of taking a, a casual approach to this and then enjoying it little by little. But yeah, so far, like I said, I'm about halfway through this CD. I'm really loving and enjoying it. I'm just really pleasantly surprised with Josh Groban as the character of Sweeney Todd. And I really do love Anna Lee Ashford as well as uh, the character of Mrs. Lovett. Uh, her and Josh Groban are definitely just really balancing each other out quite wonderfully and it's pretty hysterical on occasion. Um, yeah, you know what? I kind of went right into this. Uh, does does everybody know what Sweeney Todd is about? Do I really need to give a a a synopsis of what the play or the musical rather is about? I, if you, if you do not know what the musical is about, I guess I'll do a quick synopsis. It follows a, a it takes place first of all in like the 18, late 1800s in London. It follows a guy named Sweeney Todd. He's returning back to London. Um, his daughter is in the possession of a wealthy man who is controlling her. His wife, in the meantime, he believes is dead. And he he stays with this lady named Mrs. Lovett, and she makes meat pies that are really terrible, but people still come and get them. Uh, and yeah, this whole play or musical is about Sweeney Todd's uh, quest and ambition for revenge against the wealthy man who is in current possession of his very young daughter and who he also believes this wealthy man also killed his wife and whatnot you know so yeah it's it's a tale it's a musical about about uh, uh ambition and revenge and whatnot it's pretty great it's pretty gruesome and i'm not going to go any more beyond that because if you if you don't know kind of the big twist that happens kind of right in the middle of this play like what kind of 
happens it's a big shocker and a big surprise so i'm not going to spoil that for anybody who has absolutely no idea what the kind of twist that happens in the middle is <laughs> but let's just say it, it gets pretty gruesome and violent and crazy gruesome i love it <laughs> so yeah anybody else Anybody else listen to the latest Broadway adaptation of Sweeney Todd? How'd you feel about Josh Groban? I'm loving it so far. Something else that I've been enjoying in this month of February, a new show over on, what is that a streaming service called? Apple TV Plus? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Uh, over on Apple TV Plus, a new show aired called The New Look. <laughs> and it stars uh, Ben Mendelsohn and Juliette Binoche uh, and Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Um, the New Look is a historical period drama taking place kind of in two different time periods. Uh, some of it during World War World War Two in Nazi occupied France and some of it taking place in like the 1950s in, in France I believe. Um, it follows um, the designers uh, Christian Dior who uh, Ben Mendelsohn is playing and Juliette Binoche who is playing Coco Chanel. <laughs> uh, so yeah we have Dior and Chanel and uh, I'm just learning so much about Dior and Chanel through watching this show because I'm sure there's a lot of um, liberties taken with the show, you know, a lot of creative liberties, and there's probably some things that are not maybe perhaps entirely historically accurate, but I'm thinking for the most part, a good chunk of it most likely is accurate, it seems. Um, I'm just learning so much about Dior and Ch uh, Coco Chanel and kind of their, their rivalry within, you know, the fashion business and whatnot, and um, yeah, what the two of them were, were up to during World War II, like I said, under Nazi-occupied France, you know, um very interesting very fascinating i am loving the show so far i've seen a lot of mixed reviews about the show because some people think it's kind of cringy and bad but then other people are really praising it so yeah i'm definitely on the side of the people who are really praising it and appreciating it and loving it so yeah if you happen to have a apple tv plus account or whatever or if you can just manage some way to watch the new look i definitely recommend it i'm just loving it immensely so far you know y'all know i'm a sucker for a good historical period drama and whatnot i'm loving it another thing i'd like to touch on very quickly i'm not going to spend too much time talking about this show because i feel like there's literally only like maybe two or three of you who even know what show i am talking about but uh a show that ended uh this month was the latest season of miss scarlet and the duke which airs on pbs i love all things on pbs you guys <laughs> um miss scarlet and the duke is a period drama that takes place in like the 1800s in england following a lady detective and her romance with like the local uh inspector detective what, what have you um so yeah it, it's a great show i love it it's so cute and, and charming very british and yeah i i love whatever there's just random shows you know featuring like a lady detective especially if it's set during a historical time period i love that sort of thing um so yeah like i said i'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about this show but if you have seen the latest season of miss scarlet and the duke we need to talk Okay, because I have questions and concerns, and considering that the show is called Miss Scarlet and the Duke, you'd think both your leads would be in the show an equal amount of time, but for whatever reason, for the past two seasons, uh, the, the male lead of the show, played by Stuart Martin, has just been mysteriously kind of absent for like over half of the seasons, for both seasons. So yeah, I'm just really curious. Anybody else who watches Miss Scarlet and the Duke? We need to talk about this latest season and questions, concerns, comments. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, there's probably literally just a couple of you who watch the show and even know what show I'm even talking about, but that's okay. And just to end this video, some videos that you guys can look forward to next month in March, um, because Avatar The Last Airbender has aired here in February as well. I didn't want to sit and talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, I wanted to kind of, you know, have a full video discussion and all that. Uh, me and my sister are most likely going to be doing a full video review on Avatar The Last Airbender that's on Netflix. We love the animated cartoon. We've been really excited for this live action reimagining of the show, what have you. Uh, so yeah, there's probably definitely going to be a discussion for Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, and also, you guys, 
March is my birthday month, so you can definitely be prepared for a wonderful birthday book haul <laughs> where I perhaps might go a little overboard with my book buying. Seriously, on my birthday, there is nothing I love to do more than go to Barnes and Noble and like spend a couple hours there and just buy a bunch of books that I probably really don't need, but I do it anyway because it makes me happy on my birthday. <laughs> uh, so yeah, y'all can look forward to my birthday book haul sometime. In March. I'm looking forward to making the trip to Barnes & Noble. Seriously, it's like a couple more weeks away, but I'm like already really excited about it. <laughs> I don't have much to look forward to in life, and that's about all I can look forward to. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. Like I said, you guys, in the comments below, let me know what things you guys got up to in the month of February. I don't care what it is. Once again, movies, books, television, video games, music, whatever. Let me know. So you guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.